what is up you guys welcome back to another video so as you can see behind me i got a 2007 honda crv customers complaining about his door locks not working well two door locks two doors don't lock and then he says that as he's driving the door locks go crazy they open they close he says they're just going wild so first i'm gonna do is verify customers concern to make sure that that's exactly what's happening so um let me show you this door right here even though I lock it okay you heard it this one doesn't lock check it out lock right here it doesn't lock now this is what's going on let me show you but look it's hard as hell and it comes right back out look at the door lock check it out it locks and it opens right back up I'm on the left rear door here okay let me show you the right rear door now all right that's the right rear door I lock it and it opens right back up same thing with the right front I lock it and it opens right back up so he can't lock his doors so what the hell is going on here what I'm gonna do right now is go on a little test drive so I can show you um, what he's talking about when he says that the door locks lock and unlock check out that little cooler Ooh -wee. all right so I'm gonna go on a little test drive so I can show you what he's talking about with the door locks and then we're gonna get to fixing this car. Let's go. All right. So I'm gonna put the windows up so you guys can have a listen at the door locks and let's go test drive this. We'll go around the block real quick. I'll keep you guys focused here so you guys get a visual. Let me turn the lights on, okay? But I want you guys to listen for the door locks. Here we go. Okay, they just locked. And he says after every time he comes to a stop, they go crazy. So let's verify that. I'm gonna pull over right here. I'm gonna come to a stop. And let's see what happens. And let's go. Go. they just activated again there's a stop sign coming up let's do it again okay we come to a stop and they go again all right so that's what he's talking about there they're not going crazy but let me uh let me take this back home and i'll explain they just did it again i'll explain what what's going on with this truck all right guys so basically this is what's happening with the truck as you're driving down the road you put your car in gear and you start driving all the door locks will lock automatically right that's an, a lot of newer cars do that well this 2007 crv does the same thing the only difference here is that one of the door lock actuators doesn't completely lock so the bcm the body control module sees that door unlocked and it tries to lock them again and it happens every time you come to a stop. See, on this truck, as soon as you start accelerating, the, road, the door locks will lock. All right, and you come to a complete stop, the body control module sees that one of the doors is open and it tries to lock them again. So every time you try to pass about what, I think it's about 10 miles per hour, the body control module will try to lock the door locks and the customer sees this as the door locks going crazy, but that's because he doesn't, he doesn't understand how the system works. But all we have here is a door lock actuator that is not completely locking and the body control module is trying to lock it every time you start taking off. So let me show you what's going on with the door lock and then we're going to go into changing it and then and we'll go drive it again. That's what's going on. That's where we're at. The body control module is just trying to keep all the doors locked, but these things are mechanically not staying locked. So the body control module, the body control module is still trying to keep it locked and it's doing it and doing it and doing it. And that's what you're hearing. The door locks going crazy, but they're not. They're just trying to stay locked. So what I'm going to do right now is on this right rear door panel, I'm going to show you how to change that door lock actuator. And it's not too difficult. Just five screws you got to take off and then we can pull the door panel off. All right, here's that door panel. So basically what we're gonna do is take off two screws that are in here. There's one screw down in there. And then if you come under here, you gotta remove this cover. There's one screw there. And then over here, 
there's one screw in there so i'm gonna set you guys up i'm gonna get to work this is not gonna be a step-by-step -step video 2007 honda crv door lock So this is what we're working with now. The door panel is off. Um, this thing right here, you just want to pop it out of there and then undo your electrical connector. Then your door panel comes off. Throw it inside the car so it won't get damaged. Now what we're working with is our door lock actuator over here on this side. We have an electrical connector that we want to take off right here. Just take that out. Okay. And there's one screw right there holding it in. And then there's three screws over here. Now, warning, heads up. These three screws in here are gonna be super tight on there. So make sure that you do you use a proper screwdriver. In this case, not a P1 or a P2, but a P3, so that the screwdriver fits perfectly in there and you won't strip the bolt because if you do strip it, you're gonna have a tough time working with that. All right, so it's just three screws in here, the electrical connector, that other screw right there, and then on the inside, um, you're gonna be working with this. Let me show you on the new actuator because I already have it here. This is a new door lock actuator. So basically this goes on the door like this. All right, so there's a door lock actuator that we're working with. Now you're just gonna take off those three screws on this side, that one screw on that side with the connector. And then on the inside, you're gonna have to take off this little hook. This little hook goes up here and it bolts onto the actual door handle, but on the inside. So, um, I'm gonna show you, I won't be able to show you that guys inside cause I can't get the camera in there. It's pretty tight in there, but we're gonna move this out of the way. We can, we can take this out of the way too if it's, if it's gonna be in our way. Um, if you want, you can take off this little plug right here. What this is gonna do is allow you to peek in there and then, you know, work with your hands or whatever so you can um, get this door lock actuator out. So let's get to work. All right, before I start working, I just wanna show you the difference. This is a P2 right here. P2 Phillips uh, screwdriver. You can see that this is from Madco, P2 Phillips screwdriver. You can see how it fits on the screw. And there's, it's not fully seated on there, even though it fits and it'll take it off if it wasn't too tight. Let me show you what a P3 looks like. Okay, so this is a P3 right here. And look at that. It's completely gonna grab the screw for you and you shouldn't have any problems taking it out. Now, if you do have troubles taking it out, try using an impact driver. Uh, try using penetrating fluid, but whatever you do, do not strip these bolts because you will have a tough time taking them out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to work right now, so. All right, as you can see, that's what I'm talking about with the screws right there. You gotta be super careful with them. You can see the one in the middle is kind of getting stripped already, but what did it for me was a P3 screwdriver and it took a good amount of force to get it off. So very careful, be very patient because they are on there pretty tight. I actually gave it a few bros with the hammer. I don't know if you saw that on the time lapse, but make sure you use a P3, especially if this is the first time doing this because it looks like uh, what happens here, it looks like the, the screws create a little bond with the paint and it just makes it super difficult to get off. But it is doable. That's where we're at right now. I'm gonna continue. I gotta take this side off and then, you know what? I am gonna take that off just to get it out of the way. So let's keep working here. Let me show you guys real quick what's going on up in here. Let me see if I can get a good shot up. All right, so that's what it looks like inside with the door lock actuator. You can see that little rod with the blue clip. Okay, that little rod can also be a pain in the ass to take off. So you pretty much gotta remove the blue clip, um, twist it. The way we're looking at it, the way we're looking at it right now, you would have to twist it counterclockwise to get it off, and then you would pull on that uh, on that on the little rod. 
So what I do recommend is that you don't fully take off the actuator. I was gonna take off the screw, but I decided to leave it on there so that it'll hold the actuator in place while I pull on that little rod. It's also a good idea to put uh, maybe one or two screws over here on this side. Pull the little rod out. You might have to pull this window guide, that little rubber piece that you see in the middle, move it out of the way so you can get the actuator out of the way. Um, you can do that by taking off this little 10 millimeter bolt that's on this side and then you can uh, mess with it a little bit. So this is something I won't be able to show you in here because it's hard to record. And even if I do hold it here, my hand's gonna be blocking view. So let me set you up while I struggle a little bit to get this uh, door lock actuator out. So let's get to work. All right, all that just to move the little blue clip out. You see this clip out of the way and this rod. So basically what I did, once you start pulling this rod out, it puts pressure on the door handle. So what I do is I put my thumb here like this to push um, the door handle that way. Because if you just pull the, on the rod, you're gonna start bending this and this little bushing that's in here is gonna start coming out your way. So with your thumb, you want to push that way and then with the screwdriver from this little hole over here and if you can see in there probably not okay you want to push with the screwdriver you want to push the little rod back this way so that uh you won't bend anything because what happens is as you start pulling this rod out of there now it's on there pretty tight from inside that little blue uh clip you're gonna bend this out and this little bushing is gonna come out and everything's gonna fall apart and you don't want that to happen. So now what I'm gonna do is unbolt this window guide and then uh, we're gonna work this actuator out of here. All right, there is the door lock actuator. Now you might see that it looks a little different. That's because this one has a cover right here. There's just two screws that you gotta remove, these two screws. It's a little cover, you remove it, you swap everything over to this side, and then we're good to go. All right, I guess I'll, I'll show you guys how this thing works, I don't fucking know. Anyways, gonna take off these two screws. Okay, and then swap everything over to this side. All right, see that? Basically what you do here is unclip it from here and then wiggle this thing out of its place. It's like a little L hook, can you see that? Or J hook, or S hook, or Z hook. Anyways, undo the other one. Now, this plastic clip that you see right here, it's the same style that's on the rod inside the door. So basically what happens is, you pull this counterclockwise, and then just pop this out. All right, there's your old actuator. Swap everything onto the new one, just on there, into place right there. Okay, now we just put this cover back on, put your two little screws back on. So all in all, this job should take you maybe like 20, 30 minutes, but those tight screws make it a little bit more difficult, make this job a little bit more time consuming, but give yourself half a day and you get it done. All right, that's it. Brand new door lock actuator. Here's an old one. You can see that? The door lock. And it stays. And that's how it should work. So I'm gonna pop this back into place. You can show the customer, boom. You got a brand new actuator, it works fine. It's good to go. That's all it takes homies for door panel removal, door lock actuator removal and installation, and the door panel installed again. So let me show you just so you guys have a visual. There's two screws in there. There's one screw in there. There's another screw up in there. And there's another screw up in there. All we gotta do is close these little 
chingaderas. All right, make sure that everything is back like it's supposed to be. All right, make sure that everything looks nice and clean. And if you got this thing dirty, go ahead and clean it for the customer. Boom. There it is, 2007 door panel removal, door lock actuator. And boom, look at that. This thing works beautiful. That's how it's supposed to be. So, um, I got one more to do. I'm not gonna do it today though, so I can't show you guys the... Oh yeah, that too, make sure it locks. Oh, dude, get the unlock here. See, look at this one. Still gotta do this one. But, um, so that's still gonna keep his door locks going crazy. I did the two rear ones today. I didn't show you all of them, but I got I gotta do one more. After I do this one, I'm gonna show you the, the, the fix on how it's supposed to be working and how the door locks don't go all crazy like the customer says. The next day. All right, guys, I just finished putting on the right front door actuator and uh, we're gonna go on a little test drive and make sure that everything works like it's supposed to. Make sure the door locks don't go quote unquote crazy like they did and make sure that every door locks and that it doesn't unlock on its own and then we're gonna call this a fix and that'll be it so let me uh, show you the right front door actuator all right hopefully that shows up good so I'm gonna hit lock right now it locks and it stays locked unlock and lock all right now moment of truth we gotta go test drive this car so Go on a little test drive and make sure that here i'm gonna go ahead and unlock them and once i start driving they should lock on their own and never go crazy while we're driving all right so we're gonna go on a quick test drive now and make sure that these door locks don't go crazy like the customer says all right so i'm about to pass 10 miles per hour and they should lock on their own there we go and they lock and now I'm gonna come to a complete stop remember 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 miles per hour is our threshold so let's go back over 10 miles per hour and they're good beautiful that's a fix homies that is a fix homies all right now let me just go on a quick test drive again and just do this a couple times just to verify and be 100% sure that it's fixed before I return this car to the customer and get paid. So, quick stop here. All right. Now let's go over that 10 mile per hour threshold. And that's it, homies. All right. BCM doesn't see any of the doors open, so it doesn't try to lock them. In other words, the door locks don't go crazy. But it was kind of a... This was a good one. Three door lock actuators, but you guys didn't see all of them. Uh, so there you have it. Three door lock actuators. Solving electrical issues. Door locks going crazy on this 2007 Honda CRV. That's it, homies. I'll see you on the next one.